Good day, viewers. Welcome again to my channel. Second matter, the solution to your math problems. SSYC 2025 call math for private candidates. So you're requesting 11. So let's begin with the A part. It's a question under menstruation. A cylindrical tank with base radius 3.5 meters. So the base radius is giving us 3.5 meters. It's half filled with water. So that is the level of water in the tank, half filled. Now the water is then poured into a rectangular tank with dimensions. So this level of water is then poured into this rectangular tank with the dimensions 7 meters. So 7 meters would be the length by 2 meters. So that would be the width and then the height was giving us 5.5 meters. So that is the uh, dimensions of the rectangular tank. Now, and filled completely. So this level of water was able to fill the entire cylindrical water tank. So that is the water in the tank. So with this, we have to find the height of the cylindrical tank. So we want the height. Representing the height as h. Now, the whole of this question, how do we solve the height of the cylindrical tank? So the volume of water in this cylindrical tank must be equal to the volume of water in the rectangular water tank. So let's start calculating the volume of water in the cylindrical tank. So what is the formula for calculating the volume of a cylinder? Now remember that the volume of a cylinder is given as pi r squared h, where r in this case will be the base radius and h will be the height of the cylinder car or of the cylinder. But you are looking at the volume of water in the tank. So the volume of water has occupied half of the entire volume of the cylinder. So this, let's do our substitution. We are asked to take pi as to 2 and 7. The base radius, 3.5 meters, all squared multiplying the height. So we're using our calculator, 1 and 2, multiplying 2, 2, 1, 7, multiplying 3.5 squared. So the volume of water in the tank is 77 on 4 each, measured in meters cubed. Again, let's also calculate the volume of water in the rectangular tank. Remember, the tank is in the shape of a cuboid. We know the volume of water in the rectangular tank. So remember that the tank is also in the form of a cuboid. And then the volume of a cuboid is equal to the length multiplying its width, multiplying its height. So you can do the substitution. We know the length has 7, 
the width as 2 and the height as 5.5 meters. So using our calculator, 7 multiplied by 2 multiplying 5.5, we have 77 meters cube. But we are looking at the height of this uh, cylindrical tank. Remember, the volume of water in the cylindrical tank is equal to the volume of water in the rectangular tank. So the volume of water in the cylindrical tank must be equal to the volume of water in the rectangular tank. So for the cylindrical tank, we have the volume at 77 on 4 each. And then the volume of the rectangular tank we had 77 meters cube. So we are looking for H. So what do we do? And divide both sides by the coefficient of H, which is 77 on 4, which is 77 on 4. So you can see that 77 on 4 will cancel out and this will give us 4 measured in meters so if you want to use that calculator another way of entering the, this is by use, using the 77 then you enter this as division 77 on 4 and that will also give you 4 meters so the height and so that the height of a cylindrical tank is four meters. So that is for the E. And also with the B. Given that an x is 12 on 5, where x is an acute angle, we have to evaluate the expression 2 cos x minus sine x, all divided by 5 cos x plus 3 sine x. So to do this, all that we need is a, an expression for cos x and then also a fraction for sine x before we can evaluate this. So using tan x is equal to 12 on 5. Remember that from Sokafor. It is 12 which has the tan identity. So we know that the tan of an acute angle, in this case tan of x, must be equal to the length of the opposite. So this is our opposite divided by our adjacent. So we have our right angle triangle. I'm representing the acute angle as x. So if x is the acute angle, then the side facing the acute angle becomes our opposite. In this case, that is 12. And then the side, or let's say this side becomes the adjacent. So here is 5. So we have to look for the hypotenuse. That is the longest side. So we know that from Pythagorean theorem or from Pythagoras theorem, the length or the square of the longest side, in this case, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So 12 squared plus 5 squared. So each squared is equal to 12 squared is 144 and then 5 squared is 25. So what is 144 plus 25? We have 169, but we are looking for 
h not h squared so we take the square root on both sides so the square root and the square will cancel up leaving h is equal to 13 units so that is the length of h 13 units so here is 13 so now can we get the expression for cos x as well as sine x so we know that cos x also from Sokatua Ka has the cos the identity so you know that cos x must be equal to the length of the adjacent divided by the length of the hypotenuse so which side is the adjacent so the adjacent here is 5 divided by the hypotenuse which is 13 now the next step can you also find sine x sine x so for sine x that is for so 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 is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse so our opposite here is 12 and our hypotenuse here is 30. So now we have our cos x, we have our sin x. We should be able to evaluate this. 2 cos x minus sin x all divided by 5 cos x plus 3 sin x. So all that we do is that we just do the substitution. So what is cos x? Cos x we had 5 on 13 minus sin x we had 12 on 13. All on 5 cos x we had 5 on 13 plus 3 sin x. So 3 and then for sine x we had 12 on 18. So we can still simplify. 2 multiplied by 5. So we have 10 on 13 minus 12 on 13. Also for the denominator, 5 multiplied by 5. So we also have 25 on 13 plus 3 times. 12 that is 36 on 13. so for the numerator we have a like fraction the denominators are the same so we pick one of the denominators and then subtract the the numerators so 10 minus 12 that is negative Two. and also for the denominator we also have another line fraction so 25 plus 36 that is 61 61 so we have minus 2 on 13 divided by 61 on 3. And this can also be written as minus 2 on 13 times the reciprocal of this. 13 on 61. So see that the 13 will cancel out. Leaving minus 2 on 61. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and share the video. See you next time.